In this episode, snack hacks. So here's a few different ways to seal a half-eaten bag of chips. This first one, it's not airtight, but it's a good temporary fix if you're gonna be eating the chips later on in the day. First is to get the air out, and I wanna roll it. Then you wanna fold the edges in, and then flip this over to the other side. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. It's a really simple, easy, quick solution. So with this next one, all you need is a toothpick and a rubber band. Scrunch the top up, grab your toothpick, hold that against your bag of chips like that. Then you want to grab your rubber band, hook it onto the end of the toothpick, wrap it around a few times, and then you want to hook it onto the other end like that. So as you can see, the rubber band is securely held together by the toothpick. So when you're ready to open your bag of chips again, just simply pull the toothpick out, rubber band comes flying off, and then it's good to go. Now if you want an airtight seal, all you need is a lighter and a card. Place your card down the bag of chips and then you want to fold over the open part over the card like this. And then with your lighter, heat it up. Ow! It's been a while since I had a lighter. Clearly. I just burnt myself. God damn it. So I'm just going to do half an hour so that you can see how well this works. So just like that, you want to take out the card. You can see that it's nice and sealed inside. So all you've got to do is repeat the step on the other side and then you've got a nicely sealed bag of chips. I really, really love cheese toasties and I've just discovered a new way to make a cheese toasty and I'm going to call them toasty cheese fingers. So what I've got here is some bread and I've cut the crust off all the corners. Just go ahead and roll it flat till it's about, I guess, half a centimetre thickness. Same thing with the other pieces. Row, row, row. And then I've got some cheese. Put that down there like that. Next step is to roll your bread with the cheese on the inside. Now I've got some butter here. I'm gonna put this butter inside the pan and then I'm just gonna fry my little toasties up. We can put some more butter in there so that it becomes browner faster. Okay, so my toast is pretty much ready. So now it's time to try it. Yummy! So excited. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good like this. Mmm. I love cheese toasties. You don't understand. Mmm. It's so good. If you're rushing in the morning but you still want to have a quick breakfast for later, I'm going to show you how to make on the go cereal with milk without it getting soggy. I've got myself a container with a pretty good airtight lid. So just pour the milk inside the container. So next you just got to make a little pouch with your cling wrap, just like I'm doing here. And then pour your favourite cereal inside the pouch, just like this. You just put the lid on. So when you're ready to eat it, all you need to do is take your pouch out of the container and then pour your cereal inside your container like so. And now your cereal is ready to eat and it's going to be nice and crunchy. Hmm? So say you love a particular cake mix and you want to turn them into cookies. I'm going to teach you just how to do it because you can do it with any cake mix you like which is fantastic. So I've got myself a third of a cup of sugar, a third of a cup of oil and two eggs. Pour my cake mixture into a bowl, the sugar, oil, the two eggs. So next just stir up the mixture and now all you have to do is put it in the fridge and let it set for about three hours. So three hours later, my cookie dough is set and ready to roll, baby. So here's where I'm going to introduce another hack, and that is how to make your cookies perfectly round. First thing you want to do is grab a paper towel roll. Just cut down the middle of the paper towel roll. Lay out some cling wrap on your bench. Just grab your cookie dough, place it on the cling wrap like this. Make a little cylinder shape. So next thing is you want to wrap it up with the glad wrap. You put your dough inside the paper towel roll and then with your rubber bands just tie up 
the sides just like that so that it all holds it nicely in place. So now I just got to put it in the fridge for about five hours. So once it's out of the fridge, you can start cutting them up. I'm just going to do it in around a centimetre. Now just place the cookie dough onto a tray just like this. Put the cookies in the oven for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. My cookies are done and yes, they are a little bit burnt. Why? Because I probably left it in the oven for maybe two minutes too long. But the point of this hack is that they are perfectly round. See, look how nice and round they are. They look like professional cookies. It's that nice cookie texture. Mmm, mmm, very nice actually. It's like crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Mmm, that's all there is to it. Really, really simple. Maybe put it in the oven for less than 15 minutes, depending on your oven. <laughs> So a great way to hold your Oreo cookies when you want to dunk them in milk is to simply grab a fork, poke it in the center cream, just like that, and then grab your glass of milk, dunk it in. Oh shit, I still want the whole thing in my mouth. Just like that. It's still fall apart. <laughs> It's so good. We've come to the end of yet another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you didn't already know, I've started designing our own merchandise. You can go check it out at tandemmerch.com. Also, we've got some t-shirts up on sale, so you better grab them fast because I won't be doing any more of those designs once they sell out. So you can follow me on Instagram at rjt99. And if you like this episode, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so that you can get notified every time a video comes out. Or you can just simply download the free Click Network app to watch the videos before they hit YouTube. Thanks for watching guys. Mwah. Bing.